Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and today I'm going to show you a quick way to darken your background and make your subject pop. Now, this works really well if you're shooting in backlit conditions, and I use this trick all the time. Uh, you'll probably see it in a lot of my work, especially if you follow me on Instagram and you watch my before and afters that I post to my stories, because I'm always using this. It's a great way to add some drama and really make your subject stand out. So, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to create a curves layer. And I'm going to just grab right here in the middle and just start dragging this down. And you can either bend over this way or straight down along this line. Straight down along the line goes a little more gradual than if you're bending outwards. But bending outwards creates a little more drama towards the mid-tone area that's darker. So it really just depends on the look you're going for. And I think I'm going to go outwards because I do want a little more drama and contrast in this. So I'm just going to kind of play with this until I'm happy. All right. So we're going to go ahead and close that menu, and now we're going to make sure our mask is selected, and then we're going to hit B for the brush tool. And now we want to make sure our brush is set to black. So when it's set to black, what we're doing is we're actually taking away part of the mask instead of adding it. So let's go ahead and just paint black over our subject here. And I have my brush relatively feathered, so I'm going to resize just because I'm noticing it go on the background, but we're going to clean that up in a bit. So just run the brush over your subject like so and that will take away the curves layer and brighten the subject and I kind of want to leave it on the hair here just because it's almost a little too bright in certain areas so I switch back to white and I'm going to paint in just a little and I'm going to hit backslash to visualize the mask and then what this allows us to do is actually kind of more selectively see where we want to paint this And I don't mind if it goes a little more over the subject because it looks worse if you have lighter areas outside of the subject because then you can see better that it was kind of painted in. If you have your darker areas go over the subject a bit, you don't notice it as much. So, uh, I'll quick show you that after I clean up this line here. I'll show you what I'm talking about so you'll actually kind of notice so see when i turn this on and off you'll notice it's you can kind of you can tell where it's darkening but like you, if you were to look at this image you can't actually tell where the mask was placed uh, but if you use a uh, area that goes over outside of the subject you can see a little more of the transition there than like that so even though it's on the subject a bit you can just kind of tell where it was masked in on the background more so I never really mind if I go over on top of the subject. So I'm actually going to try to darken down the highlight on the outfit the model is wearing just because it's a little too bright. Uh, I think it stands out too much. But I think this is a little too much, uh, like it's too strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the opacity to about 30%. And I'm just going to give it a quick go on each area to kind of darken it a little bit. And hopefully bring a little more detail back into the outfit. And I'm going to try that one more time at 30% just to see if it is doable, which I could have done 60% to begin with, but it's, it's better to go light and then come back and do it again. I think that looks good. I think it doesn't stand out as much. So I'm going to quick undo that so you can see the difference we did with the brush tool to the outfit. Yeah, definitely a big difference, and I think it looks a little better. I like to backlight images, but sometimes it just gets too bright in the background, so this really helps. So let's quick take a look at the before and after. So that's before, that's after, before, after. And that's a quick way to kind of make your subject pop and just draw some more attention to them. And I hope this was able to help you guys today. If it was, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Feel free to share this on any social media you see fit. As long as my work is being shared and people are learning, I'm happy. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.